One person was killed when a car dealership was also hit. Now, the leaders of Palestine's rival political parties are meeting in Algeria for two days of talks on reconciliation. This is the latest effort to solve a more than decade-long rift between Hamas and Fatah after previous agreements failed. Hamas has governed the Gaza Strip since defeating President Mahmoud Abbas's Fatah party in parliamentary elections in 2006. Armed conflict broke out after Fatah refused to recognize the results. And that ended when Hamas forced Fatah out of Gaza entirely. Since then, the Palestinian leadership has been divided. The Fatah-led Palestinian Authority governing the West Bank on the one side and Hamas running the Gaza Strip on the other. Well, despite several rounds of negotiations, the sticking points remain. So let's go through them. The most contentious is the future of Hamas's 25,000-strong armed wing, the Qassam Brigades. Both Fatah and Israel want it completely disarmed. The sides also haven't been able to agree on the payment of salaries to 30,000 civil workers hired to run the Hamas government in Gaza. The government hasn't enough income to fully pay their wages. Both sides will also have to agree on how to move forward with long overdue Palestinian elections. They would be the first to be held since the vote in 2006. We're covering this from both sides, the occupied West Bank, where Nida Ibrahim is standing by, and Gaza, Yumna Al-Sayed. Let's go to you first. Yumna, uh, we've seen attempts at reconciliation before. They haven't worked. So are people in Gaza optimistic about this one? What are their expectations? On the contrary, actually, we've spoken to um, several people in the street, actually, this morning, asking them what they think and what they hope of these recent talks about the reconciliation in Algeria. And most people were very uh, uh, pessimistic about this, this uh, round of talks. And they say that this internal division, which has been almost 16 years now, needs more than just talks to solve uh, the disagreements, the huge disagreements between uh, Fatah and Hamas, especially that they have seen that through the past years, uh, many of these talks uh, have failed, while the disagreements were a lot more less than what they are on the real ground today. Also, people here see that uh, Hamas's control over the Gaza Strip is not something that it would easily let go of, uh, uh, off, especially that uh, the fundamental disagreements between Fatah and Hamas, uh, where uh, Fatah is not also going to be compromising uh, with the uh, presidential elections, uh, the reorganizing of uh, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, like Hamas demands, and and many other uh, demands that both uh, sides have uh, demanded. The Palestinian street here in Gaza sees that it is almost impossible to reach a positive uh, result over these uh, disagreements. All right, let's go to Nida now. You're in Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Uh, Nida, how seriously should Palestinians be taking this attempt, this latest attempt at reconciliation? Let me tell you that recent polls we've been looking at suggest that two-thirds of Palestinians do not believe that these reconciliation efforts are going to be leading towards a success or that it would change the reality on the ground. Palestinians believe that the, both parties have vested interests in keeping the situation and the status quo as is because both parties have a certain control over their respective territories. But many would tell you that whatever control the Palestinian Authority has uh, in the occupied West Bank or uh, Hamas has in the besieged Gaza Strip, the ultimate control really is uh, in the hands of Israel because the Gaza Strip is still besieged. The occupied West Bank is still uh, da has daily rates, has uh, is illegal Israeli settlements expanding. So the reality on the ground suggests that whatever control they have, it's very, very limited. Now, it's, this is not the first meeting for uh, reconciliation. Not only that, there has been dozens and dozens of agreements between the two parties, namely the Cairo agreement that had mechanisms on how to uh, resolve the issue. But Palestinians would tell you that both parties are comfortable in their situation, and they would tell you also that Israel is the one that is standing to win from the current division between Palestinians. Uh, Neda Ibrahim in Ramallah, thank you very much. Yumna al-Sayed in Gaza, thank you to you as well. Uh, families are holding their final prayers 